Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Honeybee Stamps. Today I'm sharing a cheery Easter card featuring some speckled pastel eggs and a cute fluffy bunny, so let's get started. First I blend Blueprint Sketch, Salty Ocean, and Tumbled Glass Distress Oxide Ink across a panel of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock to create my sky. At first, my sky was too short on the panel, so I added more blending with all three colors to bring it down a little further. Next, I die cut two hills with the Horizon Slimline Borders die set with Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. Then I blended Lucky Clover, Cracked Pistachio, and a touch of Twisted Citron Distress Oxide Ink onto the hills. Once the blended panels were dry, I splattered them with water and oxide ink. Next I die cut a bunch of itty bitty eggs from Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. I reserved the panels I cut from and added a little temporary adhesive to the backs and then inlaid the eggs back inside the panel. This just made it easier to blend oxide inks over my eggs. I used spun sugar, dried marigold, squeezed lemonade, peacock feathers, broken china, and shaded lilac inks to create a pastel rainbow of eggs. They kind of match my nails. Once the eggs were dry, I splattered them with more oxide ink to get those fun speckles. Then I stamped the bunny from Easter Buddies with Versafine and heat embossed him with clear embossing powder. I colored him with Copic markers in the E70 range. When I was done coloring, I die cut him with the coordinating honeycut.
I wanted to add a sun to my scene, so I die cut the sun from Rainbow Wishes onto Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock and then blended it with squeezed lemonade and dried marigold distress oxide ink. Then I die cut it with the outline die. Off camera, I trimmed down my hills and arranged my scene on the blended A2 panel. I also stamped a sentiment from Hoppy Easter onto black cardstock and heat embossed it with white embossing powder. I adhered everything to my scene and then added my bunny with foam mounting tape. Off camera, I added a few white gel pen accents and then finished the card with a little fluffy cotton tail for the bunny. And that's it! You can find more information on the products I used in the YouTube description below. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, have a fantastic day and happy crafting! Bye!